Oh boy, this is a tough one to review. Uh, again, I'm not the best spokesperson for kids' movies because, again, I'm no longer a kid. Uh, so I'm not the target audience for this one. I'm not a big, like, dog movie fan. So this is definitely not my alley. So that being said, of course I'm going to give this one a lower score when compared to the rest of the movies I rate. But it needs to be stated just how bad this one is. Like, the average movie I give like a 7.5 out of 10 because I believe filmmakers to be generally competent and generally give people what they want. Even though it's never like a complete success, there's always like these flaws. But like, it's pretty much a failure if you get like what seems to be an average rating out of 10, like a five or something like that, that's actually a failure in my book. If you get a five out of 10, cause like anything, cause it's kind of like grades in school where it's like, if it's six or less, that's a failure, but Hey, you definitely tried. So you get a gold sticker or whatever for that. Uh, but to explain why I didn't like it, uh, I'll go into more specifics. So, first off, the CGI is super distractingly bad, but only on the main dog. The rest of the dogs are fine. Uh, the main dog, he's played by a human actor who wears like the CGI suit and acts with uh, Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford pets him, the human being, like a dog, and it's super painfully awkward. Uh, he gives human emotions to this dog, and it shows. So this dog is acting like a human, and it's really creepy, and I don't like it. And the dog's not acting like a dog, he's acting like a human. And I get that's supposed to make the little kids feel more sympathetic towards the dog, because... Look, he's scared. He's sad. Aren't you feeling bad for him? Aren't you feeling more emotive towards him? Don't you care for him more now? Instead of just him sitting and smiling and not doing what the camera guys tell him to do like a real dog. But no, it just because of that and because he's too well lit, like they've put too much light on him on any given scene. It just comes across as so like cardboard and fake like he looks like the world around him is a green screen that he's set across and it just looks so bad and the rest of the dogs are fine like they all look like normal dogs they're lit fine they behave like normal dogs it's just the main dog and it's super frustrating like actually frustrating like why i don't understand it's like, why would you make a, f why would you, mm. I need to calm down. My brother's trying to sleep. So why would you make all the dogs totally fine, except for the main dog, who is, by the way, the main character. They lied when they said Harrison Ford was the main character. They Blade Runner 2049 us. Where it's like, oh, surprise, he's only in the second half of the movie, and he narrates for the first half, just like in Blade Runner 2049, although he didn't narrate in 2049. And yeah, I still feel like we got more mileage out of him in 2049, because 2049 is excellent, and this movie very much isn't. Uh, so that leaves this movie's only saving grace to be Dan Stevens, who does the most violent things in the movie, despite it being a little kid's movie. He starts, like, towing guns and straight up shooting and whipping and, like, brutalizing people, including old man uh, Harrison Ford, who, spoiler alert, he guns down to death, which is, like, straight up legit, like, bruh. And I love it. <laughs> he's like a straight up savage. And he's like my favorite character in the whole movie. Because he just like, he's so dark. And I love it. All these light hearted kids movies annoy me so much. Because I want them to go so dark. <laughs> 
So then I get really cynical with them, and I'm like, I just want someone to come around and just shoot all the main characters. And then they do, and I'm like, okay, that's like the saving grace of this movie. Dan Stevens just like, I'm gonna just shoot all of you now. And then he does. By the way, uh, the main character, the dog, he literally just makes everyone's lives worse by being the best. Like, it's hilarious how much worse he makes everyone's lives by being good. Like, if he was just, like, not around and helping people, they literally would have either... They would have lived, they would have been in less pain, and they wouldn't have been in much peril. And, like, literally just every single person he comes across... He basically is the reason why they die. It's kind of hilarious that they don't even, like, acknowledge it. It's like an anti rears of the Lost Ark thing, where it's like, at least Indiana Jones had no way on the outcome. Here, the main character is worse than everyone else, and it's bad because it's a dog, and it's like, oh, I'm the reason why everyone dies around me. It's like Old Man Logan or something. <laughs> oh, man. It's just, it's not good. It's not good in the slightest. The celebrities are fun. Like, they're the saving graces of the movie, obviously. I mean, come on, Dan Stevens is a fun mustache twirling villain, obviously. But, like, when that's all you have, like, Karen Gillan is, like, this very petty villain as well, like, side villain, and it's like, I just don't care about you. And it's not in a very memorable role either. Like, we were like, really? When we saw our name at the end cast list? And then Bradley Whitford is fun, too, at the beginning. And it's like, yeah, all these celebrities are fun, but, like, it just amounts to nothing. And then when he says, what an adventure at the end. And when you hear it in the trailer, it's like, man, this must be some adventure. And it's like, no, it's just the most boring and just borderline depressing adventure ever. It's just like... It, it even feels sarc- sarcastic when uh, Harrison Ford is laying in his uh, Reservoir Dogs-esque just bath of blood, coughing up just like his spine, just going, what an adventure, just like almost like borderline sarcastically to his dog just bleeding all over him from his gunshot wounds that are fatal. And it's just like, This movie is so stupid. Oh, yeah, and his dog is just, like, eh, and just, like, forgets about him and just goes makes babies because he's feral and he wants kids and he's horny, so that's how it ends.